Hi guys, so it seems to be almost on a daily basis we're reading stories about small business owners who voted for Brexit and are now suffering the consequences of Brexit. They were lied to by the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg, Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage, and now they're suffering the consequences of this extra paperwork and these barriers that have been put up because the UK is now a long, is no longer a member of the European Union. Now I want to show you this report from the uh, Express and Star. It says here, I made a mistake voting for Brexit, says business as stock sits waiting to leave West Midlands. Businesses in the West Midlands say that they're experiencing big delays in exporting to Europe or having goods returned to the UK due to problems with paperwork and VAT returns. Now, of course, it's important to remember that one problem is exporting the goods. Another problem, of course, is as the, when the goods arrive, if the customer isn't willing to complete the paperwork or isn't willing to pay the extra costs, the goods will be returned. And if they're returned, in some cases, I've heard horrible stories about how businesses have been destroying their own product because they're not able to send it. It has been returned and they have to store it somewhere and it's a cost, of course. Um, so I just want to read part of this uh, report and uh, there's a quote from one of these business owners. So among those who are unhappy with Brexit is company director Maxine Salt. Now, she said that she now believes it was a mistake voting for Brexit. She said, and I quote, I'm wondering whether I have been weirdly transported to another planet where exporting my goods to Europe has been banned. I'm wondering why on earth did I vote for Brexit, she said. She also said that businesses that she's been speaking to are also having difficulties with exports. She said, and I quote, One company we know in Willenhall has only been able to send out one of the scheduled six trucks out to Europe so far since the start of the year. She went on to say, and I quote, We have a couple of warehouses full of stock of second-hand clothes ready to go, but the paperwork is proving erroneous. She also said that even when her goods were out, she didn't know what would happen at the other end and whether the customer were still going to be there. It's not straightforward at all, she said. She went on to describe the process of exporting as a complete sham, nigh on impossible. She went on to say, and I quote, Don't get me wrong, I'm not a novice to this. I have been exporting all over the world all of my working life, around 38 years. However, she admits to having voted leave because she was sick of employment and health and safety rules originating from Brussels. So she's basically saying here that she was tired of sick and tired of employment and health and safety regulations coming from Brussels to protect her staff in regards to employment and health and safety. So this is somebody who was convinced by maybe Nigel Farage, who told her that, you know, you have your business. You don't want the European Union raising standards for workers, you know, protecting those workers vote for Brexit and we'll eliminate those protections. Because there's no way that she voted to increase <laughs> standards, to increase protections. She voted to reduce them. This is an employer who voted for Brexit because she wanted to eliminate protections for her staff. This is nothing to do with hard hats or anything like that. This is about somebody who is putting greed once again at the forefront. Her business deals with exporting. She's been exporting all her business life and she decided, I'm going to park that for a moment. I'm going to focus on eliminating protections for my staff. How can we have sympathy for someone like this? Someone who doesn't give a crap about her workers and voted to leave in order to reduce their protections. I have no sympathy for this woman. I have no sympathy for this business owner. In the same way, I have no sympathy for the, the guy who is selling the glass eels. It, was, it, it all came down to greed. Now, I do have sympathy for the staff, the people who work for her, the, the people who work for the guy with the glass eels, because they are going to suffer the consequences. They're probably already suffering the consequences. She is a business owner. She probably has some money put aside. Um, she can sell the premises, she can make some money out of this 
and then she can retire on that. Her staff cannot. Her staff are likely to be forced onto universal credit and they're going to suffer the consequences. And I've said this on numerous occasions and I'm going to repeat it. Brexit was about greed. Brexit was about taking away rights for workers, for the environment, for standards of products. It was sold by charlatans to greedy business owners. They were told, you're going to be able to make a quick buck. You're going to be able to screw your staff. You're going to be able to screw the environment. You're going to be able to screw standards. Everything is going to go in your favor. And who is going to suffer the consequences? Well, you're not going to suffer the consequences. If everything goes tits up, you're going to be okay. Well, not okay, but you'll be able to survive. Who's not going to be able to survive, who's not going to benefit from this, of course, are the working class and the poor. You know, somebody who's working for this lady, they're going to lose their job. Then what are they going to do? They're going to have a look. They're going to look for another job. The businesses in the area, they're all suffering because of Brexit. You're not going to find a job so easily. So you're going to have to go on to universal credit. So somebody who has had a job for a number of years, maybe somebody who has been working with this lady for 38 years along with her, is going to lose their job. They're going to be forced onto universal credit because of the economy, no. Because of the pandemic, no. But because of a decision that her boss took, motivated by greed. Now, perhaps this lady can take some of the advice that I've given in other videos to people, business owners who have been screwed over by Brexit. She should go and speak to Nigel Farage. Ask Nigel Farage, are you going to help me out here? You told me that everything would be good. Boris Johnson also told people everything would be good. There would be, you know, it would be huge success from day one. You wouldn't have to pay all these extra costs. You wouldn't have to do all this extra paperwork. It would be sunlit uplands. So I would recommend that this lady, this business owner, goes to Nigel Farage, has a chat with him and asks him how to fix this problem. Or if he's not able to fix the problem, perhaps he can put his hand in his pocket. I'm pretty sure he has. He can afford it. He can put his hand in his pocket and he can compensate these people who he lied to. Nigel Farage should take responsibility for the lies that he has spewed over the last number of years. He told people that things would get better. Things have gotten worse. Boris Johnson told people things that would get better. Things have gotten worse. So these people should be held to account. They should pay the price. However, unfortunately, I think many people who have been conned by Brexiteers like Nigel Farage and Jacob Rees-Mogg and Boris Johnson will just grumble and get on with it. And probably, unfortunately, vote for these people once again. And if they do, well, then we should have no sympathy whatsoever for them. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?